Hey guys, Brian with Jones in to go. Are you looking to add a backup camera to your RV? Then you're going to want to see this. Halo View has sent me their newest backup camera, and I got to say, they've knocked this one out of the park. Stick around, I'm going to show you what this thing can do. Before we get into the unboxing of this new camera, this is Halo View's Bike Tango or BT7 when it comes with a 7 inch monitor. But what makes this one different is it is 1080p resolution. Every other backup camera that I've owned has only been 720 and it's been mediocre at the best. And this is a lot higher definition so I think this is going to be a better camera and be able to see a lot more through this camera. Um, again, before we get into the unboxing, you can purchase this camera in three different packages. You can get a basic package, which comes with just the backup camera. And I keep using that term backup camera, but this is also an observation camera. And as we go through this video, I'll show you what that means by observation camera. Um, so you get this, the basic cam, the excuse me, just the basic package with just the, the one for the rear of the RV and then you can also get a package that comes with the rear camera as well as side cameras for each side of the RV to look down the side of your RV and see your blind spots and then the third package has all of that with a second observation camera that you can mount anywhere else on your RV over your door and you could use it for a security camera so let's unbox this thing see what is in here and we'll go over some of the features and then we're going to get this thing installed and then we're going to road test it okay so first of all the, the package that we have today we have the the backup camera as well as side cameras that we're going to be working on today so in this main box we have the obviously it comes with manuals so we have a color a seven inch color screen and in addition to just the monitor this also has a dvr so you can put a mini sd card in there and you can record any events that you might think you need to save for later or if you're using this as a security camera um, it has dvr recording which is nice another cool feature of this camera um, it also has a microphone built in so if there's somebody in the back guiding you and talking to you you can hear it through this monitor it also has colored night vision and that is really cool so it's not going to be grayscale and you're just going to be able to see it a lot better at night as well it also has a brighter screen so that you can see it better during the daytime in sunny conditions so big improvement so far so then in this box also comes the camera that you're going to mount on the back of your rig and it's got a rubber gasket that's going to go between the rv and the camera so make that watertight and some mounting options you have so you can this has double sticky tape on it so you can mount this uh, on the back as it slides in the back and you can uh, mount this in a couple of different configurations either on your dashboard or maybe even your console some crimping apps for connecting the wires as well as all your hardware your uh, little bolts to mount to your mounting hardware as well as screws to mount it to your RV You've got your antennas for your monitor and your camera as well as a cigarette lighter or 12 volt plug you can tell my age when I refer to this as a cigarette lighter plug um, and this is going to plug into the back of the monitor to power the monitor you also have um, the cord that's going to attach and you're going to wire this into the back of your RV to your power source in the back of your RV when you install it. Um, usually those are connected. If, you're, if your RV came pre-wired, chances are it might have come pre-wired for another brand, but we're going to show you how we're going to make this one work. And this just usually runs in or wires into your running lights. Here you have another, uh, it's a plastic like visor to go on your monitor so you can uh, block out any extra sun if it's up on your dashboard and a mounting bracket and we'll get into the where I'm going to mount mine and how I'm going to mount mine in my truck when we get to that in the installation 
So in the second box, because we have the package that has the side cameras, then you're going to get two side cameras. It also has comes with a manual as well. And we'll take one of these out. And so this is going to replace one of the marker lights on each side of your RV, preferably up towards the front of the RV so you can see down the side of it and see the blind spots and cars coming up in your blind spot as you're going down the road. Here's a cool feature about this system. So you have a hot wire or your power wire on each of these cameras and the ground wire and you also have what's called a trigger wire. Now, what is that trigger wire for? Like, for instance, with the side cameras, if I turn my left turn signal on, it will trigger that and automatically activate that camera, bring it up on the screen so I don't have to be fiddling around with that going down the road trying to turn a certain camera on to see something. If I activate that turn signal, it activates this camera, automatically brings that camera up on the screen. So it's just one more safety feature to keep the driver's eyes on the road and the same thing for the rear camera there's a trigger wire on that that you can wire in if you have reverse lights like we do on our rv i can wire that in and then when i put the truck in reverse it'll automatically activate that camera so let's get outside and get this installed and then we'll get up in the truck and see how this thing works and then we're going to take it for a road test and see how it does going down the road. That's another improvement they made with this camera. Um, no lag time. This has increased signal strength. Um, it actually can be installed and used on a vehicle up to 65 feet long, and it has like a 984 foot line of sight range. So let's get outside, let's get this thing hooked up. I'm gonna hook up the side cameras first, and then we're gonna hook up the uh, one in the rear. I'm going to go ahead and, and hook up this, the left side, um, side marker first or side camera first. And then um, you'll just repeat the process, obviously, on the other side. The cameras are marked left and right, so you know exactly which side they go on. They can only go on one way. So the first step is obviously to take off the old uh, marker light, which is just as simple as pulling the cover off. And in this case, we have two screws right here. So I'm going to get those taken off and get this pulled off and then we'll show you how to put the new camera on. Okay, so I have the original marker light off and as you can see, I have a, a power wire. In our case, in our RV, it's a green and a white wire together. And then the solid white wires are the ground. And then this red wire I ran from up in the pin box for that trigger wire that we talked about so that when I turn my turn signals on, it'll activate the camera. So it's just as simple as wiring up and Halo View has it marked very clearly. You would really have to be closing your eyes to mess this up. So they're clearly marked. You have your ground, you have your 12 volt, and then the trigger wire. So those are all three of those wires are gonna go on the appropriate wire here and we'll put the crimping nuts on and basically screw it back on. Okay, so now that I have all the wires tied together, all it's left to do is really tuck them back into uh, the inside of the RV. And the back of this camera has a really nice foam gasket on it too. So that'll keep water from getting in. And it comes with four screws. So I'll tuck these all back in and get it all lined up. Just kind of tuck it all. So it fits flush and that's it. You put the four screws in and pop the cap back on and then we'll put the antenna on and this camera's done. Just repeat the same process on the other side. Okay, you can see our RV was already pre-wired from the factory for a backup camera. It's a different brand, but it's gonna be really simple to, to fit the Halo View camera on here. Same thing. I'm just going to remove the wiring harness from the other brand and I'm going to install the one for the Halo View and 
then get the camera up there and put the antenna on and we'll be done. It's just that simple. Okay, I hope you guys can see this well enough. So you have these two plugs that are gonna plug in together and they're gonna twist and lock in place. And the nice thing that Halo View did is they made this gap or this, this void area in the back of this plate so you can tuck those in when you're screwing it in. So like I said, this is gonna line up right with the old holes that were in there. So I'm gonna line those up, plug this in, and we'll be ready to chest this thing out. Okay, so there it is. And the only thing I'll have left to do, and I'll come back later, I'll put some silicone around this. Even though this rubber gasket that they included with this has a lip that goes over the plastic of the camera itself. So it is pretty watertight, but I'll go ahead and put some silicone over the top of that anyway. And then a little bit of silicone over the top of the screws to keep them from rusting out over time. So now it's time to just go get the truck, hook it up and see how things work. Now that all the cameras are set up on the RV, the rest of the installation and setup is going to take place right here in the cab of the truck. The first thing you're going to have to do is figure out where you're going to mount your monitor. I'm going to put mine down on the console this time. The last uh, backup camera that I used I had set up on the rear view mirror and I wasn't real sure I liked that so I'm going to try that down here on the console this time. So first of all before I turn the camera around and put it on the monitor and show you some of the settings. Um, you're going to have two ways to power this up like I've said earlier in the video. You're going to operate it with your running lights by just simply turning your running lights on or if you choose to, to install um, the trigger wire or hook up the trigger wires that's going to trigger each camera individually with left turn signal, right turn signal or your reverse lights. Um, it's going to take me a little while to get all those hooked up, so I'm just going to use the running lights for now, and I, I would imagine most of you probably will use that simple technique as well. So with that said, I'm going to turn the camera around, get it on the monitor, and show you guys, number one, how to pair the cameras, and just roll through how to navigate through the settings real quick for you, and then that'll be the end of the video. First, we'll start out by showing you the clarity and the resolution in this 1080p. This is the only backup camera observation camera that I've seen on the market so far with this kind of resolution. So I think this is something that you guys can appreciate. So let's go through some of the um, navigation and show you guys how to navigate through some of the settings. And I'll show you guys how to pair the cameras and then a couple other settings and we'll wrap this up. So at the top of the screen on the right hand side you have the S button which will scroll through the channels. Each channel will be its own camera. So if you get just the basic package with just the rear camera, that's going to be prepared from the factory on channel 4. So we're on channel 4 now and if we just hit the S button, we'll scroll through. This is, I have this pre-programmed already with channel 4 which is the backup camera, channel 1, left side, channel 2, right side camera. So if you scroll through, you can go to the individual cameras. You can see this is the left side of the truck. Channel two is the right side of the truck. Channel three is empty right now, and we'll use that channel here in a few minutes, and I'll show you how to pair a camera. And back to the rear camera. Now, if you hit the M button down here, that's gonna take you into all of your options for settings and pairing and so forth, as you can see. So if we want to pair a camera, the first thing we want to do, I'm going to exit out of this. We're going to go to the channel that we want to assign that camera to. So we're going to go to channel three because it's a blank channel right now. Hit the mode button and then you're going to hit the plus button to, to scroll through your options. And you're just going to go to pairing and then you're going to hit this left arrow button to enter into that. Now the pairing is going to start counting down, as you can see right here, and while that's counting down, you're going to go back and you're going to press the button on whatever camera that you're going to pair to this particular channel. Come back and by the time you get back in the truck, the picture should be up and it'll be paired. So we're going to, um, it says try again, we're just going to exit out of this. And channel 3 is no signal, so we're going to go back to channel 4, which is the reverse camera. These lines are also adjustable left and right and up and down, so you can adjust those as well. And we're going to scroll over here to mirror and hit the left arrow button to, 
And you can see here, I'll scroll through these so you can see what happens to the picture. So you can flip that upside down and you can go. Now keep in mind, these cameras are facing backwards. So you may have to go into this function um, to orient the camera so that, in, in this case right now, you can see the fence is on the right side of the screen where in, in fact it's on the left side of the truck. So if we go back in here to mirror, and then I can scroll through and put the screen where it belongs. So you're going to be oriented a little clearer that way. So let's go down to the record. This also has a DVR. So let's just scroll to that real quick. <clears throat> Hit OK. And here's where you can um, put your times in and your dates in. So if you're recording something and you need it time stamped, obviously you're going to want this to be the correct date and time. Um, but you gotta, you got to keep at this or it'll, it'll default back to the screen. So let's go back to record. And then you just hit the, the plus button to scroll through those. As you can see, hit the left to go to record. Hit the plus button and I turned it on or you can turn it off if you don't want it to record. I have it on and I'll show you how to use that now. So when you go back, you can see at the top right now it's recording. <clears throat> if you want to stop that recording, you just hit the left arrow button. And if you want to start the recording again, same thing. You just hit the, red, uh, the left arrow button here and it'll start to record. So it just makes it that easy. So I'm going to scroll through. I'm going to show you some of the road tests we did to show you guys how that um, it looks when you're going down the road. There really is no lag like there is with some of the other cameras that have weak signals. I'll show you that and we're going to wrap this video up. So that is Halo View's newest technology, the BT-7. And I'd like to thank the folks over at Halo View for sending this camera out for me to do a review on, as well as you guys for taking the time to watch the video. If this is a camera you think you'd like to purchase, I'm going to leave a link below for you guys to click on and take you right to Halo View's website where you can purchase uh, either the basic camera or all four cameras. If you'd like to just start out with the basic camera to see how you like it, you can always add cameras later on individually if you'd like. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.